I'm going to give you some instructions on how to make a quilt collage using these red, orange, green, and yellow papers. And our collage today is inspired by this painting, The Legacy by Sandra Charles. And in this painting, she has these this great community-based quilt. And uh, I'm going to show you kind of how you can make your own quilt squares using construction paper. So the black part is going to be our ground there that we're going to be building everything on. And you might decide to go with like a symmetrical design. And here I'm going to show like maybe you want a design that's more symmetrical like this. You could kind of offset it or go on an angle. I'm going to position mine to the right just so that I can kind of get more balance over there. I've got some good ideas for what I might do on the other side. And if you notice, I haven't glued anything down yet. I'm just kind of experimenting, uh, placing things around and seeing how they fit together. I'm using the black part of the quilt uh, block as the negative space. So I'm just putting shapes on top of that and letting the black lines kind of uh, jump to the front on their own and uh, kind of laying out a design here. I kind of like the how one shape kind of cuts into another. I think I'm also going to do some overlays here. I'm going to put uh, like another triangle on top of this green one here and maybe another yellow line on the far right there. And I'm kind of using my yellow to, to balance out and uh, carry carry that brightness of that color throughout different parts of the, the quilt. Um, this is all about the composition, which is one of my favorite things to talk about in art. Now we're going to get started on gluing things down. Um, when I glue things down with a glue stick, I like to put glue both on the object that's being glued down and I also like to put it on the surface so that it's being glued too. So right now I'm gluing my layered pieces together. So where that yellow is on the red and also where that uh, yellow is on the green. I'm going to go ahead and glue those pieces together because I kind of consider those to be uh, one unit there as far as the uh, as far as the composition goes. So I'm putting glue on the back side of the thing I'm gluing down and glue on the thing that I'm gluing it to. So both sides you want glue touching glue. I'm also going to do that as I glue these pieces to the, uh, the quilt square. One thing you might want to do as you're doing this too, you may want to, uh, before you glue anything down and you have your composition sorted, you may want to take a picture of it so you can remember what it looks like. Because sometimes as you take this apart, these pieces go flying everywhere and it's hard to remember where you had them originally. And keep in mind, this is also sped up four times uh, normal speed here. So I'm not normally working this fast while making a collage. strip here and we will be done with the collage part we're also going to be uh, writing some some things on here too uh, sort of words of hope some affirmations that sort of thing some positive vibes and I'm going to use a sharpie to do this here on mine I'm going to write uh, love here making some nice kind of thick block letters there and I think I'm also going to put some design work on here too so I might put like a sort of a little African inspired uh, line there and a few other details there and then there we have it. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, making your own collage.